All right. So we've learned how to multiply uh, radicals. Say we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. We'll multiply the outside first. So our coefficients are 1 and 1. Then we'll multiply inside the radical, which is 2 times 3. So this is going to be 1 times the square root of 6, which you just write as the square root of 6. All right? We understand how to do that. Now, let's talk about dividing radicals, which is really a misnomer because we're not actually dividing by the radical. We're simply multiplying uh, the radical and the denominator by both the denominator and the numerator. So let's look at number one on the worksheet. We have the square root of 15 all over 5 times the square root of 20. We're going to take what's in the denominator and multiply it by both the denominator and the numerator. So we'll do 5 times the square root of 20 over 5 times the square root of 20. Let's multiply our denominator. We're going to multiply our coefficients first. 5 times 5 is 25. Then we have 20 times 20 in our um, radicand. Circle your pairs. Those come out. So in our denominator, we have 25 times 20. And then in our numerator, we're going to have the square root of 15 times 5 times square root of 20. So on the outside, it'll be 5 times 1, which is 5. And on the inside, it'll be the square root of 15 times 20 all over 25 times 20. All right, let's finish this up. So 5 times the square root of 15 times 20 is going to give us 5 times the square root of 300 all over 25 times 20, which is equal to 500. Let's simplify our radical. We know that that 3 is going to stay under, and it's going to be 3 times 100, so we can pull that out. It's going to be 5 times 10 times the square root of 3 all over 500. Stay with us. So we have 50 times the square root of 3 all over 500. Let's simplify that 50 and that 500. That cancels out. And we know we have 5 over 50, which is going to be 1 over 10. So we have 1 times the square root of 3 all over 10. And we can simply write that as the square root of 3 divided by 10.